Hi, this is Jim Gibson. This is my vlog today. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, today we're going to talk about the cloud. Everyone is talking about the cloud, and they should be, because there's a lot going on in the cloud that's just fantastic. And uh, you, as an IT person or as a business owner, you need to know uh, some aspects about the cloud that's going to help you, things like that. My business is completely run in the cloud, and it's been that way for... Uh, well, a while, a long time. And so all my files are in the cloud. If uh, I lose my laptop, no big deal, because uh, it's all backed up to the cloud. Um, I work in the cloud. I work with G Suite and uh, telephones in the cloud. My uh, yeah, the, you know, cable supply is all in the cloud, not only as a website, uh, but also as uh, an e-commerce site is all in the cloud. So everything is in the cloud. And I'm happy it is <laughs> because it's a lot easier to deal with and uh, it's just really the future. And if you're an IT person and you don't know anything about the cloud, now's the time to start thinking about the cloud. And uh, let me grab this book over here. One of the things I've been working on uh, since I've been uh, the last couple months is Certified Cloud Security Professional. This is fantastic, um, by the way, and it's a great book. It's a great little series, and it talks about how to secure um, information on the cloud. And, of course, I got a couple of them because when I study, I study more <laughs> than one book at a time when I'm doing my certifications. And it may be a while before I do the certification. I'm enjoying the education. It's come along really well. And uh, I get up early in the morning and I start studying this stuff. And you should be studying this stuff also if you're an IT person. You should be studying the cloud because the cloud is really uh, the future. Uh, we're going to have to be in the cloud. You should be recommending to your customers uh, about clouds. If you're a business owner, you should be putting as much as you possibly can in the cloud. And uh, that's really the best way to go. Um, there's one other thing too, and I'm going to be talking about this today. Um, AWS, Amazon Web Services. Now, there's a lot of cloud offerings out there. Amazon uh, is one. You also have Google and you have others. And you need to know enough about all these cloud offerings and make sure that you're, you're making a recommendation to your customer or, or you know what you're doing when it comes to your business that you're, you're actually, um, you know, thought this through. Um, and it's not only just the cloud, but you also have to be secure in the cloud. And there's ways to do that. And so you really need both, and that's why I'm studying both. And I don't know if I'm going to go for certifications on either one, to be honest with you. Probably on at least one, maybe both. Um, you know, after a while you study something over and over and over again, you get a little bit burned out, you want to do something different. So maybe I'll do something different. But I can tell you this, that I've had too many, too many of these. <laughs> See, I wrote bad it was my video disc where I stored all my video stuff for the uh, websites and, and uh, video training for my people and stuff like that. And then you came in one morning and, of course, you, uh, you know, you leave these on overnight. I do anyway in the office. And I'm hearing tick, 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 zzz, tick, 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 zzz. <laughs> And I realized, yes, I'm glad I backed this up to the cloud. Um, but to make a long story short, I'll tell you a little story. You might find this interesting. I was asked by a company, um, a uh, defense contractor, to uh, come in and take a look at their site. And I did. I spent a couple hours, three or four hours. And I was going to give them a proposal, but I wanted to give them a preliminary just to let them know where they were at. And if you want to look this up, it's called um, NIST, NITS, uh, National Institute of Standards and Technology, uh, 800-171. And it's for um, when, when you're doing surveys on people who, who supply information to the government, but it's unclassified information. And, and we'll go into this later in another uh, uh, vlog or something else like that. But basically speaking, that the government's getting really concerned about unclassified information because, as I know in the past, what I know about cybersecurity, you get enough unclassified information, you can figure out... Uh, what a person is doing classified wise so you always um, want to make sure that uh, from here on out anyway with uh, 171 that if you uh, supply information to the government you may be under the, the 171 rules and um, but anyway I was called out uh, and I was asked to do a review and I spent oh, I spent 
you know, a couple hours, probably no more than five, just going around asking people different things, looking at what they had, what the configuration was, questions like that. One of the things I asked was, how do you do your backups? And they said, oh, well, the owner takes the, the backup home at night. So, you know, we do backups to the system. The system's right here. And then the owner takes a tape home at night. You know, uh, not a tape, but a, a disc home at night, a, a hard drive. And I said, well, that's okay. You know, you're doing something. It's not the greatest thing. I recommend against that. There's other better ways because things can get lost on your way home. Things can get compromised. Um, so anyway, make a long story short. Um, I said, so how often does this happen? And they said, oh, no, we don't know. When's the last time that person took that home? You know, they're asking each other. And the person said, I think they were taking it home last month sometime. <laughs> really you have 50 employees here doing work sending out proposals doing accounting and everything else and by the way my accounting system's online also which is great uh, i like quickbooks online it does a great job it really does it's easy i can hit it from anywhere as long as i have my password i'm i'm happy camper um so anyway make a long story short when it was time to present this information to the customer um, I said, uh, you know, you really need to have an online uh, backup and it needs to, to be backed up to a, a, you know, a solid system. And um, of course, uh, the IT person there uh, was there and uh, he was proposing, you know, we're going to put in five or six servers. I don't know, have you ever heard of virtualization? I don't know if you need five or six servers, but... Uh, at any rate, I, I said, um, I don't think you should put any servers on. I think everything should be in the cloud. And uh, both of them, the eyes got big, you know, and the cloud, the cloud, you can't trust the cloud. It's dangerous in the cloud, you know. <laughs> I, think, I think the IT guy still had a flip phone, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But, uh, you know, you can't put anything in the cloud. It's dangerous and everything else. And I, I think, you know, I was like told that, no, nope, my evaluation isn't going to be accepted and because I offered the cloud. I mean, there was a ton of security issues with this company, and I could not convince them to change one thing. So they set up this. They're going to buy all these new servers, everything else. They're going to work on some of the, uh, the 25 uh, systems they had in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in one area of their uh, company that were all still working on XP. Um, they, they had one VLAN. <laughs> These are all violations of cybersecurity. N another, another blog in the future will talk about some of those things and why they're violations and why they're leaving you wide open to be hacked. But the backup system, they went crazy you know, when I said, you got to back up offline. You got to do that. I mean, you got to back up into the cloud. You, you, you can't be taking things home. I mean, if you still have some sort of comfort in holding onto that hard drive and taking it home, I don't, I don't man, really? I remember a uh, report was on a HIPAA violation where the doctor was backing up all his stuff onto his uh, laptop uh, each night. Um, unencrypted laptop each night. His backup was in his laptop. Uh, but he felt that was, you know, secure, that was safe. You know, something happened at his building, his building burnt down. He'd have his backup. He'd have all his customers, all their files, everything else. And someone broke. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back a little bit. He went to dinner that night, left his laptop in his car. Someone broke the window and stole the laptop. And he reported it, of course, to the government because you have to. It's a HIPAA violation. And he got over a million dollar fine. <laughs> Now, if he would have done it in the cloud, it would have been encrypted on before it left his office and it would have been in the, the cloud. So let's talk a little bit more about the cloud and then uh, just want to keep this short. So let's talk a little more. I'm dealing with Amazon uh, Web Services, learning about them, doing work with in that uh, area. Um, I just, you know, working on uh, the certifications and everything else as of this uh, recording. And uh Enjoying it very much. Been working on it for a, a while now, uh, months, months, months. Um, anyway, uh, you know, when you look at, at, at the cloud, the Amazon Web Services, and you look at what they offer, um, they have a thing called uh, reliability that's 11 nines. Now, what is 11 nines? Well, when you do telephone systems in the past, you always say 
something is going to be up 99.999. That's five nines. Five nines. It's going to be up for five nines. And uh, that was pretty reliable. That was what AT&T would always claim on their phone systems back when your mom and dad um, had that yellow phone in the kitchen. Um, you know, the one phone that everybody wanted to use. It had a party line and everything else. I had five nines. That was pretty, you know, pretty good. That was pretty secure. Um, or not secure. That was pretty reliable to have that phone uh, at five nines. So uh, people would have that uh, reliability. Well, Amazon has... 11 nines so it's 99.99999 <laughs> they have estimated and it's been verified that if they had 10,000 documents in backed up to amazon that they would lose one every 10 million years possibly so and the reason they can do this, the way they do it, things like that, is they have a thing called um, uh, redundancy, auto redundancy. So when you back up to Amazon, and uh, of course you got to back up right, you got to make sure you're backing up right. You got to make sure it's encrypted with a a AES. Um, and so when it's all encrypted, it's all ready to go, and you back up to Amazon. Well, then what happens is um, they make copies of it. So they make copies all within you know, a geographical area, but you can also request to them that if you're in the West Coast, the copy is there and you can put a copy in the West in the East Coast. Uh, you can put a copy in another country if you want to. You know, you can have that type of redundancy. And so you can have multiple redundancies, but automatically they do that for you. Um, now they don't scatter it out geographically. They keep it within one geographic area, but you can request it and tell it to go into another uh, geographical area with at least one or two other copies. So the possibility of you losing your backup is completely zero. Um, you know, <laughs> one document in 10 million years, yeah, I don't think you need to worry about that one document that you're going to lose. Um, but the issue is, is a lot of people are scared about this because they're scared that they're going to lose their documents in the cloud. And uh, it's impossible. And they're, they're scared that someone else is going to be able to view their documents. Well, if they're using AES, uh, which they should be using, it should be an encryption before it goes uh, to uh, AWS. And also on, on, uh, when it's coming back, it needs to be de-encrypted. So you got to have the key, things like that. So there's, there's more involved than just simple uh, G uh, Suite or Gmail. Uh, type of encryption, which is a great system, by the way, for small companies, perfect. Um, but for bigger companies, you're going to need something a little bit, uh, you know, more robust. Anyway, when I mentioned that to the IT guy that probably has a flip phone, um, they just about escorted me out of the building. <laughs> We're not being hacked. I said, yes, you are. <laughs> you really are being hacked. Um, in fact, one of the things he said was, we've caught everybody that's hacked our system. And I said, really? You caught everybody that hacked your system? Everybody? I don't think so. Um, because good hackers, you wouldn't even know they're in your system. But anyway, story for another day. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Jim Gibson. This is my vlog for today, May 2019. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.